Have you ever felt like your plans for the future are up in the air? This common English idiom can be tricky for beginner learners to understand. Let me share a funny story about a student who took this idiom too literally. Jane was planning a surprise party for her friend. But when her friend asked about the details, Jane said, it's still up in the air. Her friend looked up, confused, wondering if the party was going to be held in the sky. So, what does it's still up in the air actually mean? This idiom refers to a situation that is still undecided or uncertain. Let's see how this idiom can be used correctly. My boss asked me about the project timeline, but I had to say, it's still up in the air. We're waiting on a few key decisions before we can finalize the schedule. By using this idiom, I was able to convey that the details were still undetermined without sounding uncertain or unprepared. Here are some examples of how it's still up in the air can be used in different contexts. Casual conversation, I'm not sure if I can make it to the party, it's still up in the air. Formal setting, the details of the merger are still up in the air, as we're waiting for regulatory approval. Negative context, with the economic uncertainty, the future of the company is still up in the air. Humorous context, my wedding plans are completely up in the air, I can't even decide on the color scheme. Literary context, the fate of the protagonist remained up in the air until the final chapter. Business setting, we're still in negotiations, so the terms of the contract are up in the air. Social media usage, my summer vacation plans are still up in the air, any suggestions? To help you remember the meaning of it's still up in the air. Think of throwing a ball into the air and waiting to see where it lands. The exact origin of up in the air is uncertain. But it likely evolved from the general idea of something being suspended or unresolved. One theory suggests a connection to tossing a coin, where the outcome is literally up in the air until it lands. Over time, the idiom has become a common way to express indecision or lack of clarity in various contexts. Some similar idioms to it's still up in the air include in limbo meaning the situation is unresolved, up for grabs suggesting the outcome is uncertain, in flux indicating the situation is constantly changing. On the other hand, opposite idioms would be Set in stone meaning the decision is final. Carved in stone suggesting the plan is fixed. Etched in stone implying the outcome is certain. Here's an example of how you could use it's still up in the air in a sentence. The team's starting lineup for the big game is still up in the air. As the coach is evaluating player performance in practice. And here's how you could rephrase the same idea without using the idiom. The team's starting lineup for the big game has not been finalized yet, as the coach is still evaluating player performance in practice. Let me share a real-life story about how effectively using the idiom it's still up in the air can improve communication. My colleague, Sarah, was planning a surprise party for our boss's retirement. When our boss asked about the details, Sarah replied, it's still up in the air, but I'm working on the final arrangements. This conveyed that the plans were not yet finalized, without sounding evasive or uncertain. Now, let's address some common misunderstandings about using it's still up in the air. One common mistake is saying the plans are up in the air. While not grammatically incorrect, it's more idiomatic to refer to the overall situation. So it's still up in the air is generally preferred. Misunderstanding, thinking the idiom means the plans are literally happening in the sky. Like the earlier example with Jane. Inappropriate context, using the idiom to describe a situation that is already resolved or finalized. The idiom is best used for uncertain or undecided scenarios. 
Let's test your understanding of the idiom it's still up in the air with a few multiple choice questions. 1. What does the idiom it's still up in the air mean? A. The plans are literally happening in the sky. B. The situation is still undecided or uncertain. C. The plans are suspended or delayed. Correct answer, B. 2. Which of these expressions is synonymous with it's still up in the air? A. It's set in stone. B. It's up for grabs. C. It's carved in stone. Correct answer, B. 3. Which of these expressions is antonymous to it's still up in the air? A. It's in limbo. B. It's etched in stone. C. It's in flux. Correct answer, B. In summary, the idiom it's still up in the air refers to a situation that is still undecided or uncertain. By understanding the figurative meaning and appropriate usage of this common idiom, you can improve your communication skills and sound more natural in English conversations. Now it's your turn. Share an example sentence using the idiom it's still up in the air in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you plan to incorporate this idiom into your everyday English.